Jackie Robinson, the legacy, what it meant in sports, what it meant in, in you know, socially, what it meant in our culture and our society. What did it mean for you and how much of an impact even did his story have for you becoming who you became? Well, first of all, uh, thank you. Good morning. Oh, good afternoon. I forgot what coast I was on, <laughs> Alan and Bart. Yeah, what up? <laughs> um, you know, I mean, really, it, 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 if a sport is going to call itself a national pastime and pretty much represent a nation, especially in, in its industrial growth at the turn of last century, then, of course, black people coming up in the trying to find ourselves through the trials and tribulations coming post-Civil War when the Civil War ended and black folks were supposed to be free, of course, then you want, you know, people want to be part of that American dream just to live and, and also to survive. And when baseball, through Cap Anson, made that, that uh, gentleman's agreement <laughs> around the turn of the century that, mm -hmm. that excluded black folks from playing baseball, then that automatically threw it into a political spin. It threw it into a social spin. So me, you know, learning about myself and also having parents that taught me and my father who was embedded into baseball because that was the official black person's game um, as well. It's the America's pastime, but it's black people's game on the outside, looking in, trying to knock on doors, but also realizing to guys like Rube Foster, the, the person who's best um, known for starting the Negro Leagues, to say, look, we could do our own thing, but we still want to be part of this American dream. So me loving baseball also had uh, uh, a predicate of, of just being able to say, hey, listen, I need to also know about myself to be able to even love this game even more. So Jackie Robinson was the benchmark it's, it turned my father on to the game. He grew up in Harlem. Uh, of course, the Giants were there. He grew up within the eyelash of the polo grounds, but the Dodgers took that first step in 1946, signing Jackie Robinson. He first goes to Montreal, and then he comes to Brooklyn. And so black folks automatically became Book of Dodger fans in New York <laughs> because that was the first move that was made. So I grew up as a fan of the Mets because Brooklyn went West and then the New York Mets national league team became the Metropolitans representing the Yankees Mets and the Dodgers. That's why you had the pinstripes, the blue and the orange. And, uh, and that's where my training comes from knowing that my father got turned on by this black man playing for the Brooklyn Dodgers and making a socio political statement as well as being a hell of a ball player. It's, it's crazy, Chuck, because a lot of people don't realize that when he were, was playing, you know, he was 28 years old. He wasn't a young man. He was 28 years old. And also, you know, at that time, Martin Luther King was, I believe, in college. So he may even be responsible for sparking the, the civil rights movement. But I, I guess I would ask you this, you know, would you consider a, a dude, or do you think that he may be the most important figure in sports history? You know, maybe him or maybe Jackie, um, Jesse Owens? Yeah, most significant uh, athlete in sports history, period, because baseball's the main game. And then you talk about Jackie Robinson, who, who basically baseball wasn't his number one sport. I mean, he was a tail kicker, man, in, in football <laughs> at UCLA and, and, and also in basketball. So, and then his brother ran in the 36 Olympics. So, I mean, you want to talk about GOAT? He he was he chose to take on baseball and was a Hall of Famer just with his skill and talent, but he sacrificed. And when you look at clips, and when I was a, a shorty and I was 11 and 12 and I saw Jackie Robinson throw out the first pitch in the 1972 uh, World Series, I was throwing it back, too, on how old he looked. But although 52 compared to 12 years old, everybody's old. <laughs> but in retrospect... With all of us, you know, and, and that age range or older, and we look at those pitches and you look at the strain and the stress that Jackie Robinson probably just could not shake off of himself um, after going through uh, that turbulence in 46, 47, and 48. And then also, you know, you got to talk about what led up to Jackie Robinson. You know, it was the 
He was in the military, court martialed. You know, it's it's like that period of the forties was stressful just for a black man in particular. Maybe not as much as the thirties, but the forties was an area where uh, society had to reckon with the the new new Negro. You know, the new new Negro was saying, "Out here, we fought for the country, coming from World War II." You know, and we want to be able to be recognized. We're not part of the the generation before us. This is a new generation, and we're demanding some respect. And and uh, Jackie Robinson was the straw that stirred that drank socially and with the with the most media uh, attention at that particular time. And with the with the help from a lot of key people, especially black journalists and also white journalists at that particular time that would put things in print to make you read and recognize, you know, uh, what had to be taking place at that time. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.